Alright, my Skullgirls people. I don't actually know any of you. Anyway, this is um, just a quick video for if you are using a PS3 controller that is emulating a Xbox 360 controller, but you also have an arcade stick, and you want to use that for Skullgirls. Well, there is an issue. If you have certain emulations running, it will, regardless of whether your PS3 controller is in or out, it will still regard your PS3 controller as in and currently being emulated, and therefore that will forever be controller port one. Um, you cannot change which controller, um, which controllers get assigned to what inside of Skullgirls, which needs to be addressed. Um, because you should, you need to be able to do that on a PC. You need to be able to select what controller is doing what. But reg that's besides the point for right now. So I use something that is an X input and it's an emulator type thing. And essentially what it does, let's go to the control panel. It does this. Controller Xbox 360 for Windows. This is actually a PS3 controller. This is my arcade stick. And yeah, you can't do anything here so yeah anyways so what I believe is needed to be done is I've looked in the log file because this SC, this SCPDS3 service seems to be the service that is starting when you do stuff uh, so let me go into the SCP yeah it would seem to be that that's the service you need to stop so that the emulation ends. So we go here, manage computer. It'll ask us for my permission. Let me close this out. Okay, services and applications, services, and we just find it. Uh, let me find it here. S SCP D3 DS3 um, SCP DualShock 3 service, I believe. Stop and unplug my controller so it doesn't want to start it again okay now that should have it uh, it's stopped yep so the only option we have is to start the service okay and we look back in our control panel and we off cross our fingers and there we go there is no longer a PS3 controller being emulated as a 360 controller because essentially what this emulation does, it continues the emulation even though your controller may be unplugged. So you, Skullgirls is still going to see a controller before your controller. So what we're going to do now, we're going to play the Skullgirls beta. I don't know if there's an NDA or if there's any rules regarding playing Skullgirls. So I'm only going to show you, um, for right now anyway, I'm only going to show you the controller selection working. So I've got my arcade stick in hand here. Yep. Skip that. Don't want to get into trouble. Alright. Controller 1. There we go. And I'll go into the options. Controls. Config. Up, down, left, right. Light punch medium. Powered, light kick medium. Start, select. And we can set macros. And we'll skip these because I'm using an arcade stick. And boom. Everything should now work. So let's go into training mode. Training room. Yep. Because if you're controller 2, nothing will work. <laughs> nothing. You're completely barred from doing anything. So I'll quit now because I don't know the rules. I'm making videos about Skullgirls. So I'm going to quit <laughs> before anything bad happens. And that is how you use... Uh, that is how you fix a problem of... Um, uh, of an arcade stick not being registered as controller 1 even though you've got no other controllers unplugged maybe you have an emulation running now this works for motion motion joy as well if you have motion joy running or at all if you have any other controllers in here do disable them um, take them out and usually how they're listed here will dictate how they're listed in the game so let me try something I didn't try before and that is Plugging back my my PS3 controller, going into here and starting up the service. 
which I believe we actually we can do it from over here I believe so let's start the service back and we'll see if that will um, do anything so if it if you if this changes the order that's in the control panel which it does then you cannot have your emulation running while using an arcade stick and skullgirls so this goes for motion joy and this program I'm using um, so yeah you're gonna be stuck I'm afraid so it's 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 bad because the game doesn't let you pick what controller does what so this is the workaround for right now just disable it and have a good day and make sure it's unplugged <laughs> just in case it restarts automatically so anyway that's how you get your controller working correctly on Skullgirls I don't know if anybody else is having this issue I was and it got me frustrated until I realized what the problem was so this is just a just a PSA I suppose thank you all for watching I'm out